The sky's gray, it's like this every day The town is full of bread, a little turn, a little prey I flip a million out of nothing, make them feel a certain way Hoping that the switch Fisk unit Soldier Fisk unit Soldier Fisk unit Soldier What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest force of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist Scooter while you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit the sub button. Hit that sub button. Join this Fist Scooter army and get Fist Scooter tough. We are on the road to 6K. You understand me? We are on the road to 6K. I need 6K by week one. We need 6,000 Fisk unit soldiers to march into the 2022 season. All right, let's make that happen. Understand something. Because of the 22, 2022 season, we won't need a quarterback in 2023. So this mock draft is fake news. Don't believe it. It's propaganda. It's anti-Daniel Jones. It's anti-Giants prosperity. It's anti-common sense. It's anti-everything this channel stands for. Fuck that. They already mock drafting the Giants to take so who, 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 what's his name? The hell is his name? Will Levis. What the hell is a Will Levis? What is this? What is this? Some quarterback from Kentucky. Y'all want to get some bum from Kentucky, the quarterback, the Giants. Weren't y'all just mad that we drafted Daniel Jones from Duke? Oh, he's from Duke. He can't play. But you want a guy from Kentucky? Man, please. All right, and then the only thing I want out of Kentucky is some six foot nine nigga that can dunk, shoot threes, and block shots. If it ain't that, I don't want it from Kentucky or, or Wandell. Okay, shout out to Wandell Robinson. He a wide receiver. That's different. All right, wide receivers, corners, linebackers, they could come from, from the middle of Africa. We can pluck them from a farm in, 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 in fucking Finland. I don't give a shit. If you, but with my quarterback, okay, it's different. Yeah, y'all didn't like that, right? Yeah, y'all didn't like that. Real hypocritical because Daniel Jones came from Duke, huh? Yeah, y'all didn't like that. Yeah, so now y'all know how I felt draft night. When y'all said Daniel Jones can't play because he's from Duke. You get it? You see how stupid you sound when you criticize Daniel Jones, right? You get it? You see? It comes back full circle now, right? So, Fitz Vegas sounds so stupid right now because he's saying this guy, Will, Will Levis, can't play because he's from Kentucky. I sound stupid. But ain't that what y'all said about Daniel Jones? He can't play because he came from Duke. Why didn't we take the Ohio State guy, Dwayne Haskins? Why didn't we? Ain't that what y'all said on draft night? You get it, right? So what I'm trying to say is this. In a nutshell. The, the, the anti-Daniel Jones campaign that has been ran by a lot of Giants fans. It has to stop. Okay? It's got to stop. The fact that y'all like a little inside baseball. My most, I don't want to say dislike because YouTube took away the dislike button. But my least viewed videos are anything involving Daniel Jones. It, it is. It's a fact. My, my, my most least viewed videos are anything involving Daniel Jones. Y'all can't stand when I talk about Daniel Jones. You can't. And I don't, for the life of me, I don't understand it. So, Todd McShay and a couple of other Giants beat reporters are talking about this Kentucky kid. What is he? He's, he's a six foot three, two, six foot three, two thirty. You know what I'm saying? He had 24 touchdowns, 13 picks last year, 376 rushing yards, nine rushing touchdowns. He throw, you know what I'm saying? He throws a lot of picks. It's inconsistent. Like here, here, here's what they wrote about him, right? So here's what Mel Kiper said about Will Levis. Here's what he said. Makes, he says, made some wild throws last season. He has a powerful arm, though he needs to be more precise. He threw too many picks, trying to force 
too many balls in the tight windows. Levis also can beat defenses with his legs. He had four rushing scores and a win over Louisville. Really? Louisville? Fuck out of here. Consistency is an issue, but Levis' traits are intriguing. So let me get it straight. That's who y'all want next year in 2023? Y'all want to start over with that? Like, come on, man. Like, I... Can, can, can we give Daniel Jones a chance? Like, I just don't understand why they're already... Uh, the season hasn't started yet, and everybody's mock drafting the Giants to be trash and pick a quarterback. I mean, what the heck? Like, none of this makes sense to me. I, I, I got a question. Is None of this makes sense. A year ago, you everybody said we was going to win the division. A year ago today, I'm recording this video on June 6th at, at, at 4 38 in the morning. Okay, a year ago today, everybody was on Joe Judge's dick. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Eagles they screwed us out of the division. We got Joe Judge there, we, we got Galladay, we got a Dory. This, this team is gonna be so good. We brought back Leonard Williams. Everybody was hyping the Giants. Every Giants fan was confident going into the 2021 season. Due to cap restraints, we literally brought back the entire team minus James Bradbury and Logan Ryan. Why are y'all so discouraged? I'm confused. So Giants fans, the same exact team that you thought was going to win the division a year ago. Just got Evan Neal, Kayvon Thibodeau, and a great coaching staff, and a GM with a fucking brain. And you're discouraged? It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. The last time I checked, Saquon will be a year away, year removed from surgery, which means he'll be the shit this year. Galladay is back. We draft Wandale to go with Tony. We got Daniel Jones back. We got rid of Evan Ingram. We got AZ Ojolari looking like the Hulk. We we got freaking um what's my man name? Yeah, like Kayvon Thibodeau. We got Kayvon Thibodeau. We got Leonard Williams and we got AZ Ojolari and we got Dexter Lawrence. We have real linebackers now. And that's who I was thinking about. Um Blake Martinez is coming back from injury. So what I'm trying to say is, how do why do y'all think this team is gonna suck? Yeah, act like we have no talent. So when I hear mock drafts already projecting the Giants to take a first round quarterback because we're going to something like this makes no sense. We got the same roster with a with an upgraded offensive line, an upgraded pass rush and coaches that know what the hell they doing. Why aren't Giants fans more optimistic? It doesn't make sense to me at all all like it just it, it's not computing it's not computing and by the way wink martindale is an upgrade over patrick graham i ain't even bring that up wink martindale's a, like i just come on man i just this makes no sense how can anybody think the giants are gonna gonna win anything less than eight or nine games that's the floor the Giants are a 500 team at the bare minimum. The Giants are a 500 team. That's, that's the worst we're going to be as a 500 team. So to think we're going to be in position to, to, to take some... Co <sighs> Will Levis, please. It's, it's, it, the, 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 the draft ended two months ago. And they already talk about Will Levis. Like, come on, man. Like, whatever. This is... I don't know, man. I don't get it. This ain't it. I don't get it. But one thing I do know is this. Don't don't hop on Daniel Jones nuts when he start playing good. Don't hop on his nuts when he start playing good. All you negative Giants fans who think we're going to be trash, don't start don't, don't change your tune when we start winning. Like keep that same energy. That's all I want from y'all. All these people on television, all your Mel Kuypers and Todd McShays, and all you negative content creators, I want y'all to keep the same energy when we're winning. 
Can you please say we trash when we winning? Can you please suck the Eagle dicks when we're winning? Can you please suck off the Cowboys when we're winning? I'm starting to feel like the people who cover the Giants and some Giants fans, y'all are bigger Eagle fans than you are Giants fans. I mean, this is crazy, man. Like, this shit... Bradbury was so horrible on the Giants. Y'all couldn't wait for Joe Shane to get rid of Bradbury. That fucker goes to the Eagles and, oh my gosh... Here go Giants fans. How are we going to score on the Eagles? They got Bradbury. Now they got Bradbury too. What are we going to... What? <laughs> what? That motherfucker... Y'all bitched about him every week. And now he's on the Eagles and now he's God. Like, I just... Whatever. I'm, I'm rambling. It's 4.30 in the morning. Leave me alone. But that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit. If you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.